2D and 3D TEE images of the coronary sinus and middle cardiac vein in a patient with severe aortic stenosis, coronary disease, and low ejection fraction. Stop the video anytime to see the images. Here the cardiac veins are shown. From an initial four-chamber view and with slight advancement of the probe, we saw the entrance of the coronary sinus, red circle, arrow, yellow arrow pointing to it. We will then be advancing the probe and we will see a small red circle with a yellow arrow. That's the entrance of the middle cardiac vein. As the probe is advanced into the stomach, the middle cardiac vein will develop and it will follow in the posterior interventricular groove. Note small pericardial effusion as well. The echo probe will continue to be advanced into the stomach and a middle cardiac vein can be noted in the image. Note the severe biventricular dysfunction of this patient. The probe is then pulled out and the middle cardiac vein reigns in the coronary sinus. Then the probe is turned to the left and you can see the distal coronary sinus in the red circle, left atrium, left ventricle noted. And then the probe will be turned again to the right and the coronary sinus follow as it drains into the right atrium. We will do this again. We will follow the coronary sinus to the ostium of the middle cardiac vein and then advance the probe all the way into the stomach into the distal middle cardiac vein. And then we will pull it out and repeat the same motion to see the middle cardiac vein draining into the coronary sinus. And we'll turn the echo probe to the left to see the body of the coronary sinus and distal coronary sinus as it converts into the greater, greater cardiac vein. After this, we're going to see 3D images. This will be what the anesthesiologist's view would be, left, anterior, right, and posterior, so the heart is slightly tilted to the right side of the patient. This is the surgeon's view, a 3D surgical view reconstruction uh, from the ultrasound imaging. Note in the top, the aortic valve severely calcified, anterior mitral valve leaflet, posterior mitral valve leaflet, right atrium to the right, and in blue with red, it's the uh, ostium of the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus is depicted in red in the posterior aspect of the image. We will go through several images, rotating the image to try to get a better understanding of the anatomy of the coronary sinus. Here we can see the whole body of the coronary sinus from its ostium to its distal portion as it converts into the greater cardiac vein. The yellow arrow points to the origin of the middle cardiac vein. Note how close it is to the ostium of the coronary sinus. Sometimes difficult to see on 3D image for sure. And with attention, it can be found quite often in 2D imaging. The multiple changes in the angle view of the coronary sinus just to follow better the anatomy. Note the severe aortic stenosis as well and some restriction of the posterior leaflet of the mitral valve. Barely opening of the aortic valve, you see the two black holes are just artifacts created by the 3D reconstruction. It appears to also some lack of coaptation in the mitral valve. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, please uh, email me. Thank you.